Okay, so I'm playing the Barbarian this time. Now, the Barbarian is the simplest class in the game, and it's the first one, which makes sense. It's melee, with very low accuracy, I, uh, 50%, but that doesn't really matter because it's melee range. A, the Barbarian has got an auto attack and one good move, that's this one which increases the damage and... Oh, my map's not up. Which increases the damage of your auto attack, makes it go in a circle around you, and also increases your attack speed quite significantly. Uh, as always, I'm looking for potions of rage. That one's not a potion of rage. Uh, for some reason, they've got the same sprites, the potions of rage and retrieve. But retrieve are just worse than health potions, so I use them instantly so I don't get confused. I'm looking for those, I'm also looking for three main items. Uh, here's the uh, move, it kills early bosses very quickly, and it does quite a lot of damage just all throughout. Especially seeing that it's as, well, it's an attack uh, bug, so it skills with your regular attack. So I'm going to put all of my other points into my regular attack. I do not need accuracy, so I'm going to push all of my points into damage, as this is only easy mode, so chances are slim that I will be insta-gibbed by anything. But if I get incredibly unlucky, the last two bosses can kill me, and I cannot express that enough. They can just kill me for no good reason. Oh, that was only two. Otherwise, I'm just going to be ignoring all treasure chests, and getting to the end ASAP. I'm going to be saving my Potion of Rage for the last fight, likely, unless I find one. Uh, actually, I will go for that. Oh, good. That was one of the items I'm looking for, actually. I can look for the Merlin's Hat, Foot Finger, or Compass. What I just picked up was a slightly weaker version of the Merlin's Hat, but it's... Uh, for my purposes on easy mode, it does the same thing. I just always forget about it. And it's easier to save Merlin's hat than whatever that one's called. And it sounds cooler, probably. Uh, cooldowns actually transfer whenever you go across the floor. So that's why I'm not using my uh, Shout of Rage at any point other than the boss. Uh, one, one thing that's of note is that all of, all melee attacks in this game reflect bullets. I'm using my health potion because the rage is much more important. Uh, all melee attacks reflect bullets, uh, meaning that once I've got this propped, I become pretty much invincible. Uh, also, I've got a very high health pool, so chances are quite slim that I'm going to die. So notice how I'm tanking everything that I'm, that's being thrown at me, just because I'm reflecting all of the attacks. So it seems. But yes, in this game, cooldown reduction... Oh good, another one. That's very good. In this game, cooldown reduction applies to your auto attack as well. Left click. So... Merlin's hat, or the circuits that I picked up, uh, it gives you 10% cooldown reduction, which massively increases my damage output. It, it increases your damage output on every character except for the thief, whose attacks become so fast that the that any enemy who gets hit actually has iframes for long for longer than your cooldown, um, well, for longer than your cooldown. So it actually decreases your damage output on a single target, such as the final boss. Here's the penultimate boss. 
Uh, he's not doing that much. Uh, yeah, he's not doing that much. He just, he cannot do anything to melee characters, especially on easy mode. Uh, he is hell to go against ranged characters, though. Uh, there's a bear claw that does... Check my magic, no magic. Bear claw deals magic damage based on your magic, so that deals nothing for me. And it would only give the final boss more iframes, so I'm not going to pick that up. Um, iframe management for the final boss is a big part of what items you pick up, as the majority of them just give him far too many iframes, and there's no indicator for them. As in, there's no way to tell that the boss isn't taking damage, other than the fact that his health bar doesn't go down. And there's currently a glitch where the boss's second form does not actually have a health bar, so... One time, I had a, um, a spike ball going around me, and I was wailing on the final boss, and I just did two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. It's nothing. Nothing to him, because the spike ball gave him permanent iframes. I had to reset. And that's how you learn things, you screw up. There's no point in getting a silver key. I am going to proc my charge of rage there because those bullets all put me into hit stun. Hit stun is also very large in this game. Oh, sorry, no, not hit stun, that's the wrong word. Um, knockback. Put finger. If I got that item at any point in the game other than the final boss, I would have picked it up. What it does is, whenever you crit, it gives you movement speed, and that is good for all points except the final boss where I want precise movements. Or, in this case, no movements. Uh, unfortunately, the Barbarian is one of the weaker classes for dealing with the final boss. Uh, however, I still make sure to save my Potions of Rage for when I'm about to use my Shout of Rage because that's just the most efficient way to deal damage with this character. Uh, he does have an alternative move, uh, but that is completely worthless. It barely does any damage. Uh, that is the worst possible spawn for this character, uh, the knight again. Uh, just because he's got more health than, the, than any of the other bosses, which is, which could be spawned. Also, I'm not attacking the knight at this moment, because if I kill him, then the final boss may summon another mini-boss. Which would just be even slower. Uh, the knight's also annoying because he summons a bunch of add-ons, and I do not want to deal deal with them, but I have to. Because the uh, way out doesn't spawn until everything's dead. And as you can see, there's no indicator whatsoever for how much for how much damage this boss is taking. I just need to keep left click. I just need to hold left click until it goes. And now I need to take out this guy. And he summons more bats. I'm uh, not... I'm not improving any of my moves, you see I've got skill points because that would actually take longer time. That would take longer time, and done. That was a bit rough. 